Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, what a difference a day makes, a massive rally overnight across most global equities, big changes in the FX markets and even commodities got a bit of a shunt last night as uh, the Bank of China uh, came out with a 500 billion liquidity injection for the top banks in China. Um, coupled with the fact that there is a uh, kind of a, a kind of staunch, re I guess, rhetoric that um, today's um, Fed meeting will come out with a uh, quite a positive uh, spin on interest rates. That interest rates will remain low for a considerable uh, rate of time. Now, obviously, that doesn't get finally released until about 7 p.m. UK time tonight. Um, but these two factors uh, together, there have really caused a big spike up in, in, in the markets and as you can see there that the, the uh, US 30 reached potential resistance at 17.162 um, before slowly drifting a little bit lower this morning so you can just see that it pretty much bang on hit that same level so certainly a significant strategic level there to be aware of and uh, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out later on today and at 7 p.m. tonight if in fact the rumors are true. Um, UK 100, as you can see the candle here, very interesting formation. This would normally be a hammer formation at the bottom of the downtrend. Um, it will actually begin to slip a little bit more again today. Obviously, um, referendum is tomorrow for Scottish independence, with the result getting um, probably displayed very early on Friday morning. They start the count at 10 p.m. on Thursday night. And um, uh, if that comes in as a yes for independence, expect extreme volatility across GBP, USD and uh, the UK 100. Remember these markets trade 24 hours and that the UK stock market itself opens at 8 a.m. on Friday. Um, so it should be quite interesting to see how things uh, pan out there. But certainly 68.32 potential resistance. Um, on the downside, you would have 67.74 as potential support, then followed by 67.01 uh, if things don't work out according to plan. Moving on to Japan 225, a failure at potential resistance 59.87, but then we did have a failure to break on dollar yen as well um, if there isn't going to be an increase in rates anytime soon in the US as in this year 2014 that's going to hold back dollar yen from its, uh, its impressive gains it had been making and you have seen a little bit of reversal in uh, fortunes from Japan to 25 and so we have come out with some pretty poor results as well which probably weighing uh, ever so slightly on the Japanese sentiment out there. Next potential support 15828 um, moving on to that dollar yen position uh, well, dollar yen has, has kind of just stopped shy of its uh, recent high. Let's just say it's 107 spot 40, um, and we've been getting a lot of indecision right now. It's building up a consolidatory base right now, um, but it's vulnerable to short-term shocks. As I said, it has been up quite high. Um, if we don't get the type of language that um, a lot of the dollar bulls are after, we might just get a slight retracement. But because we're quite far above that potential resistance at 105 spot 44, uh, that could be problematic for uh, for clients who remain long incidentally, but could provide an interesting springboard if you do have a bullish stance on dollar yen longer term, but it does depend on the fundamentals as well. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, out on the back of that Chinese liquidity boost, um, and you know obviously if rates don't raise sooner rather than later, global demand is back in the picture. Massive uh, upswing uh, the previous day, but a huge one there yesterday, and we've stopped shy again of uh, potential resistance 95 spot 40. So that is the, certainly the level to, to beat. We're still in the same pattern. If we break above that and start to rechallenge 97 spot 64, that would be a slight change um, in the overall pattern formation of crude oil West Texas and would be an actual significant change. We had a great move there yesterday, but stopping dead at resistance, um, we need to see how things pan out. Um, so gold didn't really benefit, get much benefit, obviously, a little bit of uncertainty off the table, uh, a little bit of dollar weakness on there has helped push it up ever so slightly, but as you can see by the long legged candles there, it's really lacking direction. I don't think that's going to really change uh, in the next couple of sessions. Um, we'll see how um, how it reacts to, to tonight's uh, information, depending on the rhetoric that'll have a decent impact on gold. So moving on uh, to your dollar, it's been volatile, bouncing around these levels. One spot 30, zero, zero is still the potential resistance. It was, so it was the broken support now acting as a resistance because these t do tend to spin around. The pattern of, um, of higher lows here is still quite prevalent. Um, so expect to get a low grind higher, and then we're gonna make a decision when we get quite close to 130. Um, we'll, probably, we'll probably see something tonight depending on how the news comes out of the Fed. So finishing up with GBP USD, it's a real tough one to call just now. 
This massive sell-off was in response to a change in the poll saying that independence was going to happen. This move to the upside right here is indicative of the fact that perhaps that move was overdone. Um, and I guess if you go into a lot of um, financial markets uh, indicators, and even if you look at just some fixed odds betting, um, you can get a bit of an idea as to as to where a lot of the money is being placed just now. That independence will be uh, well, they seem to think that independence will be a no vote um, come Thursday, and you are seeing this move up to the upside there in uh, GUP USD. So um, financial traders are certainly making the bet that that's not going to uh, that independence is not going to happen. Uh, and we are trading above potential resistance now at one spot 6265. Um, in regards to economic data, um, obviously lots of stuff today, Bank of, Bank of England minutes, UK employment data, um, we've got a CPI in the Eurozone, we've got CPI in the US, we've got crude oil inventories, and uh, then we've got the federal um, funds rate, and obviously the statement coming out about the monetary policy, lots of big stuff on today. Fast forward on to uh, the following day, more UK data and US jobless claims as well. We we'll just finish up by having a quick look at client sentiment for a second. And this can, gives you a bit of an idea as to the overall picture. Big, uh, big shunt forward on UK equities has, uh, uh, sorry, and global equities has pushed that short position in the US there to go 86% short, UK 185% short, whereas German clients are almost 50 50. And if you look on uh, Euro dollar, 94% short. Uh, and cable 82% short as well. So very interesting times ahead. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.